Hi there, it's Simon Gray from Career Codex. And uh, in last week's uh, newsletter, I put out an open invitation uh, for you to hit reply and uh, send me an email and ask me any question uh, relating to career advice, job search strategies, uh, anything that you're struggling with uh, in the job market. And I uh, had a few people respond, which was great. I actually had one person who said to me, uh, who's gonna win the Premier League? Now, um, I don't actually know, I've got some, uh, some theories. Leicester are doing pretty well, but uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But um, did have a couple of questions that uh, had a common theme, uh, which I'll share with you now. Uh, the first question was from Sally, who said, well, how do you control your nerves at interview? Great question, because interviews are artificial environments. They're not the environment that we, uh, we tend to sit in day in and day out. So they can be uncomfortable, and as a result, because it's stuff we're not used to, uh, people can get nervous. Uh, and then I uh, had a question from Pete who said, what's the best way to stand out at interview? Again, great question, Pete, because success in the job market at whatever level you're at is about standing out from the competition. And that means being memorable, uh, positioning your experience in the right way, um, and, um, and all of that good stuff. So um, yeah, standing out really is the key to success. And of course, the interview uh, situation is the first time you're face to face with an employer. So it's very important that you stand out. So I'll deal with both questions together. Try and keep the video to a minimum of sort of three, four minutes uh, and get through the content fairly quickly. And then at the end of the video, there'll be an invitation if you want more information on interviews, because uh, I'm gonna do a webinar uh, in a few weeks time where I'll go into this in much, much more detail. So really, confidence is key. Um, confidence is key at interview. And if you're confident, then of course you're less nervous. And well, how do you get confident? Well, confidence is about preparation. And whatever you do in life, if you prepare properly, then you're gonna be more confident and less nervous. But preparation really isn't just about looking at the company's website. It's far, well, it's far more than that. There's much more that you can do if you really want to stand out. And I put my clients through a, a five stage preparation process for any interview. Uh, which means that they're better prepared than any other candidate, and as a result, they're far more able to stand out and impress the interviewer. Also, they're less nervous. Um, there are certain myths as well about interviews, aren't there? You know, people think, I'm gonna go into this interview, uh, I'm gonna be interrogated, there's gonna be bright light shone on me, people are gonna try and trick me with difficult questions. Well, the reality is that that, that generally isn't the case, because if it were the case, well, what would be the point of the interview? And um, normally the interviewer wants the interview to go well, because otherwise it's a waste of their time. And uh, we all hate those uncomfortable conversations where there's a silence, uh, people aren't quite gelling. Um, so um, you know, a good interviewer will want the interview process to go well and for you to feel comfortable and for them to feel comfortable too. Um, standing out is really about communicating your skills and experience in the right way and communicating the skills and experience that you have relevant to the position. And um, sometimes in the interview environment, depending on the experience of the interviewer, they won't ask you the right kind of question. And they won't ask you the right kind of question because if the interviewer is inexperienced or doesn't interview on a regular basis, well, they might just forget to ask you the right stuff or might not be prepared themselves. And a classic example of this is um, if you have the chief executive of an organization, uh, they tend not to interview every single day of the week. It might be once a year, twice a year, or even every two years. So um, sometimes they may, not be, um, they may not be in a position to ask you the right questions because they don't do it that often. So it's very important as the candidate to really position your experience properly and to know what the interviewer is looking for. And with the right training, you can actually control the interview process from start to finish, irrespective of, uh, of what the interviewer asks or doesn't ask. Another way you can, can uh, stand out at an interview is by asking great questions. And these I call knowledge-based questions. And knowledge-based questions demonstrate you have some knowledge and then ask for more information or clarification. Uh, very different to asking a question that you could find out the answer to yourself because it shows the research and the preparation that you've done. And because you tend to do these towards the end of the interview, although you should be asking questions throughout to make it a conversation, but always at the end of the interview, you'll ask some questions, they're the last thing people tend to remember. Uh, and what people remember last, they may remember first when it comes to making a decision on whether you advance to the next stage. So what I decided to do is to run a webinar to cover all of this for about, about an hour long webinar uh, with some time at the end for Q&A. Uh, I'm gonna do this at the end of the month 
Um, so if you'd like to, to register for that, if you, uh, if you have a look at the link below, you can click on that and register directly uh, to jump on that. There are limited places. Uh, it's quite similar to the LinkedIn webinar I did, uh, I did a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and it also links in with the, uh, the ICAW um, career podcast that I did. I've been running some, um, some podcasts for ICAW. And last week's podcast was about interviews. So I'll put the link underneath for that as well, which will give you a bit more uh, of a flavor as to the kind of stuff we'll cover on the, uh, on the webinar. Um, so being successful in interview really boils down to three things. It's about preparation, it's about proper execution, and then it's about follow-up. And I'll cover all of this on the, uh, on the webinar. Um, so if you're, uh, if you're watching this video through the email, uh, weekly email newsletter, uh, if you've got a question you'd like to ask me for next week, then please hit reply to send me an email. If you're watching this on YouTube and have a general question about careers, employability, uh, job search, then uh, jump onto my uh, Facebook page uh, or jump onto my LinkedIn uh, page if you search Career Codex uh, on both platforms. Uh, you can put a comment or a question in there. Or if you're on the YouTube channel, you can make a comment under the video. And uh, I'll see what questions we get this week and I'll put another video together for next week. Um, if you are on YouTube, please subscribe. I'm going to be putting a lot of videos out now with, uh, with free training and education. And there is a videos page on, uh, on my, uh, my website. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube and you're not subscribed to get the weekly uh, newsletter, then uh, if you head over to careercodex.com, uh, you can sign up there. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, until next time, take care and uh, I'll talk to you soon.